Hello there and welcome to Complete Games. I'm James and this is my guide on how to beat Gore Crusher the Behemoth in V Rising. This is the second raid tier boss currently in the game and I must admit did have me stumped for a little bit. For this particular fight I'm going to be going with the Reaper. I'm using 100% rogue blood in this fight although I would have been better off with a good scholar bud but whatever you've got and the best you've got. I do recommend going in with tier 6 gear though. Uh, I'm rocking the Sanguine Coil just to get that little bit of health back when I can and the Chaos Volley. Key to Gore Crusher is to keep at distance. As you can see I'm utilising the whole arena and I constantly back off because last thing we want to do is get up close to this guy. He really does hit hard and trying to get the Reaper over to the top of him as much as I can and continue to hit with the Chaos Orbs similar to when we took on Solaris. So again, just keep backing off, backing away, and putting the Reaper down whenever I can, round about mid-range. When he smacks the ground like that, as you can see, you've just got to avoid the aftershock. We keep on circling him until we get down to the first quarter of health. This move here, I just fake left or right. He's going to do this three times. That was the third one. Follow on with a couple of chaos orbs there. And yeah, just primarily keep the distance. Taking a couple of knocks there, so using the sanguine coil just to help get a little bit of health back. Doesn't really have much of an effect too early on, but it can help if you get a few hits in over time. Okay, so it's just about to go into the second form of the fight. He's summoned the spirit animals. I hit him there with the ultimate ability, the Heart Strike, and that pretty much almost took care of the bear. Just missed the wolf, but you want to get these two creatures down as quick as possible. Keep your eye on Gore Crusher. As soon as he wakes up, get back up, and yeah, just focus fire on Gore Crusher. Eventually, be able to take out the second wolf. The bear's relatively easy to take out if you're using the Reaper, because as it sits up, to do its bash on the floor you can get the reaper over the top of it and you are going with the heart strike as well for the ultimate ability if you use it there you'll get another time to yours use it during this fight the fight does drag on for a little bit and you can get two casts of an ultimate ability so once again it's just going in to recover some health and now it's going to let out these spirit orbs Got to avoid them at all costs, they're really damaging and they do put a debuff on top of you. Again, it's going to do that three times. And just got to avoid the extra spirit orbs. They will disappear eventually. And once again, back to the spirit animals. As you can see, the bear there just standing up, but it's basically just standing in the Reaper. And I always focus fire on the bear first, worry about the wolf afterwards. Taking these two creatures out as quickly as possible before Gore Crusher gets back up. Back into the fight, so now halfway down. And Gore Crusher's about to summon a second version of himself. And right there I did do a health potion. When you first see him go into that form, that's about the only time in this fight if you want to take a health potion, that was the time to do it. Again, just keeping at mid-range. Usually around this point he's summoned the second version of himself, and there we go, it's just triggered there. And this bit of the fight is pretty chaotic, now you've got to avoid two of them, so try and hit what you can. You take out the spirit beast before Gore Crusher, it'll just go to sleep and regain its energy. Same vice versa, so you've just got to chip away at the pair of them here and just do your best to avoid both. Which can be quite random and quite difficult. Managed to get that second heart strike in, and that pretty much took care of Gore Crusher's spirit, but as you can see, because Gore Crusher's not down, it's just going to regain its health. But again, Managed to hit both of them with that ultimate ability just there. Now, as you can see here, I'm pretty much just 100 down from the health, and we're doing pretty well. But 
when you take a hit at this stage of the fight, it really doesn't take long. It's got knocked into one of them orbs, took a second knock there, and one or two more hits and we're out. So this stage of the fight can always get a little bit difficult, as you can see. I'm just to get the Spirit Beast down, one more hit for Gore Crusher and he's down and that's pretty much my strategy just using the Reaper just keeping at a distance and trying to get them spirit animals out as soon as he spawns them and that was my strategy for beating Gore Crusher in V Rising. I hope you enjoyed that one but until next time I'm James from Complete Games and I'll see ya.